Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super freezing because it is so cold right now. It is winter, obviously, in Auckland, so I'm just sitting here cuddling under my little blanket so that I don't freeze to death. <laughs> okay, that's a slight exaggeration. But anyway, so today I am going to be talking to you about my May. Yes, May favourites. I don't have heaps and heaps of favourites because it's just been a really busy month for me. I've been really busy with uni and stuff. But yeah, anyway, I'll go into that maybe a little bit later. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and if you did like this video, then please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me and you can be part of my awesome family. So the first thing that I have to talk to you guys about is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic. So I actually did a video dedicated all to this mascara and it's really, really good. Like it is the mascara that I'm wearing right now and you're probably thinking, Kat, but like your eyelashes don't really look that good right now and you're probably right that's because I didn't put much on so it is good like you can you can control how much you actually want to put on whether you want to put on like a little bit or a lot but yeah I really like it this gives me a ton of volume which I really like that um, as I said in the video I really like brushes that are more like that are not plastic brushes that are more sort of the regular bristle brushes <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I really like these kinds of wands and this is a really good mascara. It's really black. It doesn't smudge at all. It's awesome. So I really, really super like it. So that's my first favorite. Uh, the next thing that I have, and this probably looks pretty scoty because I've had it for quite a while, but it, oh yeah, it says you're already meant to have it for six months. I've definitely had it for more than six months. Who even listens to those things anyway? Like those little expiry things. Like who actually throws their makeup out like after that certain amount of time. Like I have blushes that I've had probably for like six years. It's fine, like it doesn't smell funny. Anyway, anyway, getting totally off topic. So this is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and this stuff is great for like days where I, just kind of like today where I'm like heading off to uni and I just want to have a very minimal amount of makeup and this is one of those, oh it's actually like nearly done I feel, I feel like there's not much left in here. This is one of those products that it's a brow gel but it kind of gives you more voluminous brows. So it has, I don't know, like it is brown mascara, but it doesn't have fibers in it, but it definitely makes your brows look thicker. So if that's what you're after, then I really like it. I think, however, next time, instead of getting light medium, I don't know, cause like light medium is really warm and obviously I don't have super warm hair. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll look at and see if there are any other colors that are available next time and see if maybe that might be like a better option. Okay, next I have a face cleanser for you. So I have this Sukin Foaming Facial Cleanser. It is sulfate and paraben free. It has chamomile, aloe vera, witch hazel and green tea with macadamia, evening primrose oils to purify and balance your skin. This is great. Like I totally agree with these claims. I will use it and my skin feels super clean without feeling stripped. I really like it. I think it's really good. It's not super expensive. And it is also a carbon neutral product. So if you get this from farmers, I think it is a bit more expensive. Like, it, you know, the good old markup at farmers is a little bit more. But I get this from the chemist warehouse. And it's the same price as getting like a Garnier cleanser or whatever. I think it was like maybe $11 or something. So it's, yeah. That, I feel like that's a pretty standard price for a cleanser in New Zealand. But yeah, it, it's really good. I really like it. Um, yeah, I think it's really, really good. And obviously my skin is not that great at the moment because Aunt Flo is coming pretty soon. But aside from that, I think that, yeah, like I think this is really nice. It's a really good product. So I'm very, very happy to use it. Next thing, I'm just moving on. We don't have any more beauty favorites because, uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't really been wearing much makeup. So I haven't really gone through much. But uh, yeah, the next thing that I have to talk to you about is this Pix Peanut Butter and smooth okay guys guys if you're from New Zealand or Australia you have to try this so originally we got the crunchy peanut butter but we moved on to the smooth because it just spreads so much better and because this is like actual proper legit peanut butter where it's literally just crushed up nuts and oil like that's literally all it is the oil separates oh it's peanuts and salt 
those are the two ingredients the oil separates from the actual peanut butter so you do need to constantly mix it in and so having the crunchy one it I guess kind of dries out quite quickly or relatively quickly anyway so by the time you get to the bottom it's really not spreadable at all whereas the smooth one that's not as much of an issue anyway this peanut butter is freaking delicious there's nothing nasty in it it's literally just peanuts and salt and it's good and it's made in New Zealand which I love and we have been having this peanut butter for ages. And again, if you've been living in New Zealand and you haven't tried this, what have you been doing with yourself? Unless you don't like peanut butter, in which case just totally ignore this, so yeah. So next, I have, I don't have like a nice little not open one because I really like this, so of course I just smashed into it, but <laughs> I have another food product for you. It is the New Zealand kettle corn popcorn in sea salt. Less than 40 calories per cup, a better choice, contains popcorn, corn oil and sea salt. No added sugar. It's gluten, soy, dairy and peanut free. It's also cholesterol free, vegan friendly, GMO, whole grain product, certified, all those things. So anyway, the point is this stuff is really really good. Like I am a big popcorn enthusiast and this popcorn is really really nice obviously it already comes pre-packed so that's pretty handy the other thing i really like about this is that when you open it it's full to the top of popcorn like how often do you get that these days it just doesn't happen where things are actually completely filled like right to the top and doesn't have like half the bag full of air that just doesn't happen anymore i can't believe it anyway all that aside i love me some popcorn and I like the fact that this is just popcorn and salt. Like that's it, there's nothing else to it. It's not, like it doesn't have sugar. You can get the kettle corn flavored one, which does have a bit of sugar in it or whatever. But this is just the sea salt one and I love it. It's a great snack and it's obviously much healthier than other snacks. So yeah, I really like it and I've really been smashing it. So that's been good. And the final thing that I have to talk about this month is this jacket. So to be honest, like you probably won't be able to tell that much, but I got this jacket from H&M and the thing that I really like about it is that it has a hood. I mean look. Hey. <laughs> anyway, I really like this jacket. I got this from H&M at the end of last year's winter so or maybe it was like sort of spring time so maybe it would have been September, October maybe and I got it for 30 bucks and it's a really warm jacket like I've never had a puffer jacket before and it's just so warm and cozy and at the moment it's getting so cold and I have like jackets that are a lot more formal that I can wear but those always feel too formal whereas this feels like a nice casual jacket it's a jacket that I can wear just with sneakers and jeans and it's not a big deal whereas the other jackets that I have those ones I feel like I need to wear nicer pants or you know whatever and like boots with it as opposed to like jeans and sneakers kind of things I love this jacket this is like the jacket that I've been needing my in my whole life it's amazing. The reason I guess why I haven't really bought puffer jackets in the past is because I always feel like they're just way too big for me. Whereas this one I feel like is, it's not too big, like it's actually somewhat fitted. So it doesn't just look like this big puff ball. You know what I mean? Like it, it still gives me some shape with, and you know, while still being like a puffer jacket and it's warm. And I love the fact that it has this fake fur trim and a hood because then when it's raining I can just pop it on and I'm good to go. I just love it. Super stoked that I bought it and I freaking love H&M. H&M and Kmart are so my jam. It's so good. That's all the products that I have for you but I just wanted to talk about some favorite memories that I've had this month. So thinking back through May, well I think one kind of like cool favorite for me has been I got a new job so that's pretty exciting. It's just a casual job but that was really good because as you guys might know I obviously left my job so I guess money has been kind of tight and you know that's fine you know I chose this path it's totally fine but you know money has been a little bit tight so I thought I'd get a casual job just to kind of help supplement my income or lack of income <laughs> and just to you know give me a little bit more you know a little bit more flexibility with my with my money and stuff so yeah that's been really really cool I've also really been enjoying Cornwall Park like I've been to Cornwall Park this month seems like every weekend I don't think it's actually been every weekend but I want to say maybe like three out of the four weekends I've been to Cornwall Park because I just love it I love the fact that it's so beautiful and you know there's a cafe there so you know maybe you do your walk up Mount Kakeke and then you come back down and you 
have a coffee and it's just nice it's a decent walk and it's not too far away so it's just yeah it's good I love the fact that we have you know Cornwall Park available to even use so yeah that's really really cool but yeah so what are some of your favorites been this month you know maybe it might be products or maybe just things that you've been enjoying this month so let me know I would love to know what your favorites have been and yeah if you enjoyed this video then please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel I would love it so much but thank you so much for watching I have loved being here hanging out with you guys and until next time I will see you in my next video bye guys